Morning, good afternoon, good evening, Fabulites. This is Angela, and I am here with another edition of Notes on the News Feed. Yay! And that's where I read you headlines, and then I give you my thoughts on the headlines. And I'm also giving you right now a link to my Twitter page, Be Fabulous You Twitter. I'm a, when I get a chance, it may not be today, but I'm going to shoot the link into the comments so you can go right to my Twitter feed, scroll through. You can find any article that I mentioned here. You might want to read it. You know, and you might find some other stuff that I don't even mention here that you might want to read. But some of these articles, I have read the whole article. Some of them I've skimmed the article. Some of them I have only read the paragraph after the article or skimmed it. And then some of them I just read the headlines. But you know, these, these headlines keep coming and my thoughts and ideas and opinions keep coming. So let's jump right in. <clears throat> Mississippi Organization Cooperation Jackson leads a movement for self-determination. Yay! Y'all, I was almost about to move to Jackson when the mayor, Chokwe Lumumba, um, made his transition. But that's when they started, well, when I was starting to find out about um, um, Cooperation Jackson. And um, I knew Chokwe Lumumba because he's a part of National Con Conference of Black Lawyers. And I know people who are part of National Conference of Black Lawyers. Um, you know, he's been a part of the Republic of New Africa. But anyway, I was at his inauguration. You know, I'm like, okay, that's cool. He's mayor of Jackson. But at some point, I kind of realized, wow, Jackson might be becoming a really progressive place. I've been involved with food co-ops. I've been involved with credit unions. I love cooperative movements. I think the cooperative movement is very um, positive and progressive. And I was really excited to see what was going on in Jackson and then I was about to go to this conference and then Baba made his transition so I'm like oh it's a wrap uh, but anyway it continues uh, that that organization seems to have continued um, to do work now um, the son has he been elected mayor I know he made it through one hoop I don't know if the official election has happened but you know he's progressing he had run for mayor immediately after almost immediately after um, his father made his transition and he didn't win in that time um but he you know he's he's he he might be he might be mayor now I, you know sometimes i've seen people say he's mayor but i think that he just passed made it through the primaries or whatever but anyway yay i'm super excited and this is coming off of atlanta black star so it's like it's becoming mainstream news Ooh, you don't have to be in mississippi from mississippi detroit to like you know kind of you know Trump's plan to eliminate loan forgiveness for public defenders could spell trouble for the criminal justice system. This again is coming off of Atlanta Black Star. And we've been seeing a lot of public defenders, black public defenders who are out here um, doing um, doing work on behalf of black people and trying to do work on behalf of black people people have been getting killed i mean it's been serious out here people have been getting um taken to court and they trying to put them in jail i mean it's really serious out here for black public defenders who are trying to to advocate for and work on behalf of black people so um it's kind of interesting that that's on trump's radar or on or on the people in his administration's radar so that's what i thought when i saw that Policing while black is a problem that needs not be ignored. You know, kind of that whole black and blue dilemma. But also, you know, homeboy got shot the other day by, you know, his his homeboys, you know. So are you black or are you blue? Can you be black and blue? I'm so black and blue. That that um that play, I saw that in New York and I did not like it. But it wasn't a play. It was like a musical review. I thought it was a play. But um, there was a song in there called uh, My Chair. I can't remember what the song was called, but it was a blues song. And homegirl said, you know, her chair, it was like a metaphor. She said her chair may be a little old, you know, but the legs are still good. The seat is still good. And if she can't sell it, she going to sit on it. I was like, oh, my gosh. I was just I was clutching my pearls. <laughs> Frankie J. Pierce established the Tennessee Vocational School for Colored Girls. Yay, I guess. A judge threw out a lawsuit alleging Facebook tracks logged out users because there was no realistic economic harm. So what happens is you on Facebook and then you log out and you think you logged out of Facebook, but Facebook is still logged on to you and they're tracking what you're doing, what you know, what, where, what you're doing, where you're going online. They tracking you, they following you without your permission because you've logged out you you like I'm disconnecting from you and so this judge felt that 
you know, as long as it doesn't help hurt someone economically, in my opinion, it's cool. They can follow you around. They can stalk you. And to me, that's some bull. I don't appreciate that worth of nothing. Okay, so let's keep it moving. Um, community activists use 2 chains pink trap house to host church service. Neighbors want house gone. Have y'all seen that trap house? I, I barely know what trap is, but it's, it's pink and it's a T-R-A-P on it. And I guess he did a video or a party or something there. Now they having church services. It's very interesting from an artistic perspective because 2 Chains is a rapper, right? And so now there's this piece of community art. I don't know. I just, I thought, I think it's an interesting, you know, story and it's interesting to see it evolve. Um how Hollywood can reduce sexism in screenplays. And I think the main brunt of the story is that if you have, uh, uh, you know, white men writing all the stories, they're going to write from a white male perspective for the most part. You're not going to expect them to represent, do anything other than what they've been doing. Cuba, oh, Cuba love hotels to make a comeback state announced and it was like love wasn't capitalized so i was like i guess it's not a chain i don't understand what's a cuba love hotel um it's a place that you can rent for about five dollars for three hours so that lovers have a place to go and make love what <laughs> that way i was like i die clutching my pearls again <laughs> amir shah India's Billy Elliot takes off. I can't remember what that was. Most wanted. Boston taxi crash. It sounded like a plane blowing up. Is this the, um, I think I've, it was all, it was on my newsfeed, but it was this morning. So much has happened since this morning. But a car ran into, like 10 people were injured. A car ran into something. It was a big explosion. Was it at an airport? I don't know. Japan reveals plans to put an astronaut on the moon. We were just talking about the space program with China. And now, you know, and I felt a little when I heard it. I, and my first thing was, how could they put someone on the moon? But it's kind of like, does the United States own the moon? I know I don't own the moon, even though I'm a cancer. I'm a moon child. But uh, I guess anybody can go on and put go put somebody on the moon, right? I mean, yeah. July 4th, 1994, Happy Liberation Day, Rwanda. And I was surprised to see that Rwanda, 1994, is that when they got liberated from their colonial masters? Who, who, who? Oh, you know, I saw that movie Hotel Rwanda. And it seems like it was maybe people from Holland or I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was colonialism was... I just can't say colonialism was ending, but you know, that, that iteration of colonialism was ending. Um, Narendra Modi to become first Indian prime minister to visit Israel. Uganda civil servants face strict dress code in new government role, um, rules. And that is it. We have just completed another edition of Notes on the News Feed. Thank you so much for joining me, clicking on this video, sticking around and watching it, liking, commenting, subscribing, being here, being you, and being fabulous you. Peace.